Can you um show me where the jazz section is? Coming to you from his downtown Denver studio, here is the Backstage Jazz Show with your host Steve Roby. Hello and welcome to the Backstage Jazz Show. I'm Steve Roby. Denver's only chicha band, Don Chicharon, features eight members who blend a bit of punk, surf, jazz, and salsa into their music. Here to explain their music style and upcoming show at Dazzle is singer Aldo Pantoja. Welcome to Backstage Jazz, Aldo. Thank you so much for having me. For our jazz music listeners, can you tell us a bit about uh, Chicha Music and why are you the only band in Denver that plays it? Chicha Music is a style of cumbia that comes from Peru. My family is from Peru and I really loved this style of music growing up and really hearing it again and starting to be popular recently all around Denver, New York. It's a really fun style to experiment with especially here in the States. But really, it's this psychedelic rock mm. from Cumbia, either from the Andes or the jungle. There are different styles there. And very melodic, really led by an electric guitar in the 70s that really landed mm -hmm. within that style of rock and in that fusion of Cumbia and Andean folk music all together in one, created these festivals. And at these festivals... They played this chicha music. And also chicha is a word that come and derives from a drink, a chicha drink, which is a corn beverage in Peru that they drink at these festivals. So it was paired one with a chicha drink, also with some chicha in your ear. <laughs> nice. I like it. How and when did Don Chicharon form? And who are some of the group's musical influences? I hear a lot in there, but I'd like to hear what you've got to say. So we started in about 2016 here in Denver. I got together with a, a bunch of my good friends here that have been playing music for a long time. Our eight members strong. We had nine at the start. Since then, we've been creating some really fun stuff and playing some good music together all around the Denver metro area mm -hmm. and soon in, uh, in Dazzle, which is going to be really exciting, which we'll get to a little later. But Definitely. With all of these guys and these my fellow musicians in Denver, they were playing a lot of different styles of music. They were in country bands, they were in rock bands, and I really wanted to play some cumbia. I really wanted to play the style of, of chicha. And so with them, we all came together and their style of music started to fuse and mm. really influence our own sound. And it started to be something very unique unique to Denver, unique to what Chicha music really is at the core. We started to explore what that really was and what we really wanted to play, our own identity. And so once we started to find that sound, Don Chicharon was really born. Can you name some of the, the groups that influenced your style, like the surf bands? In Peru, a lot of those Chicha bands from the 70s and the 60s really ring true that I love. And we play a few songs of theirs as well. Los Mirlos is one. Los Wemblers de Iquitos are also fantastic. Juaneco y su Combo, all of these great old chicha bands from Peru really sound true for us. But also Santana and Mana mm. and some like new age cumbia rock that really became popular here uh, in the United States. And so they use that style as well, that's familiar to an ear here in the United States that's not so foreign as like a psychedelic rock from the right. Andes that started to become an influence with us as well. You guys must have a diverse record collection. I can only imagine all the different music in there. Right, right. And a lot of like tonal stuff, electronic music mm. as well as like Western music starts to creep in just because that's just who we are. And I think it's very fun to experiment that way. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the band. Who's in the band and what instruments do they play? I am the lead singer and play the guitar and the bass. We have two guitarists, lead guitars, which are Justin and Tyler. Stu is on the bass as well, but he's also on the synth. Our drummer holding it down on the kit. Nate Fulton is our bongo and conga player mm. playing our percussion. And Michael Walsh 
really doing uh, the Guira so, so well. And that's that like anchor, that cornerstone, that metal Uh, style that really rings true to Cumbia. And of course, our eighth, Andre Martinez, right? Uh, Backup vocalist, fellow hype man, and overall just helps and manages the band as well. Wow, that's a full band. (laughs) Yeah, totally. You suggested a few songs to play on this episode. And the first is Sabado Gigante. Tell us about the backstory with this one. Yeah, Sabado Gigante is about an epic hike. And me and my friends, we were celebrating and got a chance to do an epic hike. It was led by our fellow bandmate, Nathan Fulton. And so the Sandwich Brigade was born in this. But really, it is also about just going out and having fun on a Saturday night, right? It's the weekend. We usually play on the weekends, either a Saturday or a Friday. And so we just realized, like, we just love to celebrate all together and to do it with music and to do it with something that can get you to move is what it's all about. I like it. I I was hoping you would say something though, like there was a a slight tribute to the TV variety show in the 90s, I believe it was, with Don Francisco. (laughs) Good ear. Yeah, absolutely. There is a huge nod to that. And like Don Francisco, of course, is an Easter egg to that. If you know about Don Francisco, then you know about Don Chicharron. Cool. Well, let's give it a listen now. This is Sabado Gigante by Don Chicharron here on Backstage Jazz.
This is Backstage Jazz, and my guest today is Aldo from the group Don Chicharron, and we've got another song to play for you now. It's called Valle. What can you share with this one? Valle is probably like one of the funnest songs to play for the bands. We play it often. It really grooves and it gets the audience really just into this style and rhythm of cumbia, but as well as the psychedelic rock. Valle really is either a, a valley, but also Valle is a path, right? Mm. What is your path? It's a journey. Mm. And so whatever that journey is for you, to follow it, to keep it going, to find that goal, to continue on, even if it's hard, to dolphin through, if it's a little easy, to really can continue to find that humility through it. And so all of these emotions waving through this Valle. Wow. What a nice intro. Here's Valle on Backstage Jazz. This is Aldo Pantoja, and we're listening to music by Don Chicharron. Well, let's jump into your upcoming show at Dazzle on Friday, February 16th, and what fans can look forward to at the show. Man, 
Uh, I'm so excited about playing at Dazzle One because it is an iconic uh, place that just found its new home in the Denver Center of Performing Arts. And we've never played there. I've always dreamed about playing there. And so it's going to be exciting. We're going to be playing from 930 until they kick us out. (laughs) And so get ready for a long set, a really nice set, but also like we're going to be getting out of our seats. We're going to be dancing. Good. Right, like I know those, those seats are fixed and those, those tables are there, but we're we're gonna be moving, and right. so come on out and groove with us. Seats are flying, so act now if you can. Yeah. There's a low ticket alert too. I saw today on Dazzle's website, so if you were interested yeah. in tickets, uh, get them now. Before I let you go, Aldo, where can I send our listeners to learn more about Don Chicharron and your music? Absolutely, follow us in, on the socials, Instagram and Facebook as well as our Bandcamp page, right? All there where you can get our vinyl, all our skills there, pick up some merch, right? We got some cool shirts out there, represent out there, and we'll all have that available at Dazzle. And you got a beautiful website. I must commend you on what a beautiful website you have. I love the artwork there. Thank you so much. Well, let's remind our listeners, Don Chicharron will perform at Dazzle on Friday, February 16th for a 9.30 p.m. show with doors opening at 9 o'clock. For tickets and more information, please visit DazzleDenver.com and be sure to remember to bring your dancing shoes. Thanks for stopping by the show today, Aldo, and and have a great show at Dazzle. Thanks to you guys. See ya. If you're enjoying the Backstage Jazz Show, we'd love for you to like, subscribe, and leave a review on Apple Podcasts. And now, back to the show.
The Backstage Jazz Show was recorded at Little Raven Studios in downtown Denver, and our producer was Craig Stevens. You can find Backstage Jazz wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to stop by our website, backstage-jazz.com, where all past and current episodes have been archived. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, you can email us at backstagejazz at fastmail.com. This is Steve Roby. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Backstage Jazz. You've been listening to the Backstage Jazz Show. Join us next time for more great jazz and interviews with your favorite musicians.